Good morning. It's Monday. We're back to the farm today. We've got a lot going on. A short time to get it done. Well, kind of. I mean, we've got time, but we got a lot to do. We got to keep moving. So, <coughs> um, I'm hoping to get two big seed deliveries out today, uh, going to the same place, but a little ways away. So I'm going to make a phone call to that guy, make sure he's willing to take it. I talked to him last week, so it's all lined up and ready to go. Um, we have a chemical delivery coming this morning and they want some empty or half empty shuttles to fill up with some, like, I don't know, the one product I got some boron, I bought 350 gallons. Well, 250 comes in a shuttle. They didn't want to give me another shuttle for that remaining hundred gallons but I have one out here that's got a little bit in it. They can take back and put the 100 gallons in it and then we'll have all our stuff. So uh, we gotta get a couple of shuttles around and do that. We gotta get our trailer loaded up and head out. But first, let me show you my auction loot from Saturday. I, I told you I was gonna show it to you and I didn't. I did show this. We bought a, uh, a tamper, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, I mean, it's, it's work, but it'll be nice to have when we need it, so. Uh, we got to get that put away somewhere and make sure it runs, but I'm pretty sure it will. I think that was a really good buy. And then we got a few smaller things over here. Uh, I bought this screwdriver set that's got a whole bunch of screwdrivers. We've got flats. Here you can kind of see them underneath. We've got Phillips. Uh, and then some of these other ones are Torx. That's a small Phillips. There was a square drive in there. I saw all kinds of stuff. We got some real little ones. <gasps> We've got some drivers. It's got a bunch of these different little things. So I don't know. It was in this box. And the reason I wanted this box was because it came with all of these knives. And for some reason, every time I go to find one of those around here, I can't ever find them. They're always gone. So I'm happy to have all of those. We got some construction pencils. We got some regular pencils. We got some cable rippers, which I don't really need three of them, but we got three of them. And then, you know, some sidewalk chalk. <laughs> Something for everybody in that box. <laughs> uh, I bought this box that has some really nice files in it. I thought some of these little files might come in super handy somewhere. So I bought those. It came with these extended reach magnets that also seemed like a pretty good deal and then phil wanted these swivel impact sockets here um they're for yeah tight spots where you can't quite get in there nice swivel on an impact i think those will be really nice and he wanted this seal setter kit so we bought this as well um this is for setting seals and stuff like in bearings usually we would get a socket out and tap it in with that but this is what it's for and would be better or what it this is yeah so anyway there's our auction hall brock did a pretty good job getting our gator cleaned up and serviced for us while dad and i were gone last week so that's good i know he mentioned about doing some of the major service stuff i need to talk to him and figure out where we're at hours or miles wise on the um you know, the, the, the axle lubes and all of that kind of stuff. They need to be checked if he didn't do that, but I don't know if we need to change them just because it's been two years if we're only at half the miles that we need to be, you know? We need the forklift out. We gotta get those shuttles on our delivery. And we gotta get that down to the seed warehouse. We'll come back to that. We got the uh, shuttles around that I needed to. I didn't film it, sorry. Uh, Dad's going to be around today. He's going to take care of that chemical delivery for me. And I've got a uh, Conway or XPO truck coming at some point. I don't know when, but they sometimes just show up. So he said he'd be around. So I'm going to try and uh, load up the seat trailer and we're going to get to haul in here. The more we can get done, the faster, the better. And I had stuff lined up for tomorrow morning and then remembered that, oh yeah, I've got episode three of jury duty tomorrow. There's a problem limit my ability to get anything done big load ready to go let's head out at some point when you keep making these same trips or you got multiple trips to go to the same place full like this you think why am i not using a semi it would be so much faster with the semi and at some point we might get to that 
but they don't pay me anymore for using a semi and it just it, it doesn't make any sense financially for me to do that when I have this available and can use it reasonably so I'm gonna do it the way that they want me to do it this is this is what's expected Okay, this one was a drive. It's about 60, 62 miles over to this uh, delivery, but we got the first one off and unloaded. We are heading back and loading up again, taking the second load right back to him. So we're gonna have to dig a little bit of corn out, but we've got, uh, I think, we got six more boxes and uh, we'll throw a couple pallets of corn on there. And that won't be quite all of theirs. They'll have a couple more boxes or a couple more bag pallets of corn, but uh, the majority for this guy, so it's good. We're back. All right. Well, we've got to load up again. We've got our six boxes right there that have to go, and then we need to dig out some corn. So I'm going to get the paper. This was the stuff that I found last week, so I know where some of it is. So we're looking for 99 bags of 10B61 and or 55 bags of 08R52. I know we have some here. There's a 40 and a 40, yeah. Could take those two pallets or this one here. That one's going to go for sure because that's all he gets of that variety. There's 55 on there. Um, yeah, maybe we'll just take that stack. I think we'll make that work. I don't think we would be a lot to try and get it all on one. Have two piles. Leave them stacked up. No, we're not doing that. Okay. Looks like we got a plot seed shipment while I was gone. Another one, because I've got plot seed in there as well, so, okay. All right, yep, I'm good with it. When I pull up here, I want you guys to see how close that trailer is to that box without actually hitting it. Skills, I'm telling you. As I stab my box, because my forks aren't wide enough. There we go. Ready for it? See it over there? Look at that. It's not hitting it. It's as close as you get, though. Load number two. So we're down. We got 58 bags more that got to go to this guy. There's, I, I can't get them on this trailer. I mean, we could physically get them on the trailer, but weight-wise, we're already got plenty. So this is not exciting, is it? I am I'm very quickly realizing how boring this is for you guys. But I don't know what to do about it, so you guys tell me, what do you want to see here? You want me to keep making videos like this where we're just delivering seed and you see me loaded and then you see me unloaded, but I can't really film when we're dropping stuff off. I don't know, maybe we'll do something when we get back. Load number two off the trailer. We've moved a lot of seed out today. That is a good, good thing. So uh, we're going to head back to the farm. What time is it now? 3.25. So we should make it back there. with a little bit of time to do some stuff. Probably what we're going to do is get the trailer loaded up for tomorrow because tomorrow we're uh, going to try and get some out after I get back from jury duty. And if I have it all loaded up and ready to go, it'll make it a little bit less of a late night. Yeah, I'll buckle up. It's okay. All right, we are back, and we need to sort some bags out here. So this is... Um, this is the stuff that we are looking for. We're going to start it with the beans on the bottom here. Uh, we've got a pallet that's got 35 bags, 2674s treated. So we need to find that. That's what these are. There's 40 on there. There's 40 of them right there. Are they the same lot number? Yep. Yep. There's another 40. We don't by chance have a bag with 26 already on it. I doubt it. So we're probably going to take one of those and pull five of them off. Seems like the logical thing to do. What's in this pallet? All right, so there's the bags that we were looking for. We've got, um, well, we've got two boxes over there and we've got three right here. And I'm gonna have to separate one of those out because I need the ones behind there. The, there's two boxes in the second stack back there. So we're gonna have one more of those, huh? No, is that right? I don't know, it's this other one here, let's look. We have 120, which would be three boxes of the 2722, and two boxes of the 23, 2313. So, yeah, somebody gets another one of those boxes. I gotta figure out where that one goes. Interesting. All right, well, that's what it is. 
Okay, this is the load we're taking tomorrow. There's some semblance of a dent being made in here. Like, there's less beans in here than there was when we started the day, obviously. But it actually looks like it, a little bit. And we got a long ways to go, right? That's a long row. But we're making a dent. Well, since my truck was already down here, we brought the, we brought the diesel work car home. Rylan was down there picking up rocks with Grandpa. It's like a racing car? Yeah, I don't know about a racing car. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I don't have enough in this to publish it, I don't think. So I'm going to edit it, but I'm probably going to not post it until tomorrow since I'm not going to have much for tomorrow anyway. So we'll see you in the morning. Good afternoon. Just making my return from jury duty and a jail visit. Apparently it is required by law in the state of Ohio that if you serve on this grand jury that you visit the jail. I think it's state law. I don't know. They said it was required by law. So we went. So just getting back from that. And uh, we got a seed delivery to make. Dad's got the sprayer out over here, so we'll check on that real quick. We are getting close to the time when we need to um, top dress our wheat. So Dad was getting the sprayer ready, changing the oil and the filters and stuff that needs to be done. Looks like he's putting nozzles on now. So, uh, yeah, it's good things. It's uh, chemical delivery season. We're starting to get some of our chemical totes in. Boron, Acuron, Tendovo, all the different herbicides and foliar. Well, uh, boron is a nutrient, different stuff that we're going to need, fungicides. So it's good things to get. Just made our first delivery. We've got a pallet on there. we got to go somewhere else. Um, we're up by Battle Creek, Marshall area. There's a huge Ford... Uh, battery plant going in up here and they've got the road in kind of one lane right here yeah we made it out uh, they're boring in a water line it looks like about an 18 inch water line to this uh, Ford battery plant that's about two miles down the road here and it is uh, well it is impressive but just the amount of it's crazy what they're doing up here so Unfortunately, we're not going to drive by it this time, it looks like, because we got to jump south here. There's their boring machine. Yep. Yeah. We get a little bit of everything in these deliveries. We're up here on well off the beaten path. All right, we just got back. Every time I'm starting to gain on it. You guys remember earlier in this video when I said, looks like we're gaining on it? It no longer looks like we're gaining on it. Oh, we had that other truck come today. Dad unloaded it for me, which I appreciate. But uh, he filled in my void over here. And holy crap, we got a lot. I was not expecting that much. I'll see if I can find the paper here and see what all we've got. Oh, perfect. They're all the same. And they're all the same as what we took out of this row. So... I guess they all go in there. I just, we just, we're not winning here. Well, that at least looks better. <laughs> yeah. And uh, let's see, we've got six boxes there that are leaving tomorrow, along with that pallet of corn. And we've got 20 paper bags we've got to find somewhere. Uh, and then another pile of those six boxes. And I should treat some more because um, I can get eight on a trailer, and this guy's got a whole bunch. So. Um, whether I try and get that done tonight, I don't really have time tonight, so I might have to treat some in the morning early before we, uh, head out or something. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, we'll get some more out of here tomorrow. And then it's supposed to be rainy Thursday and Friday, so maybe we can get a bunch more treated for next week. I got the beans ready that I need for tomorrow. We wrapped up this corn a little better because I had to throw some bags on top of that pallet, so I uh, shrink wrapped the top of it or plastic wrapped it. Got a couple boxes over there ready to throw on the trailer. I'm not going to load the trailer tonight because I don't want to have to run it down to the farm. I don't have time. I got to get in the house. Um, it's almost seven o'clock. My wife's got something going on tonight. So, um, yeah, we're going to load up and haul some more beans tomorrow. And so, mm, yeah, a little corn, a pallet of corn, and some beans. So that's. Tomorrow's plan. I'll park this out of the way and wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Again, let me know if you want me to keep making these or you want me to just take the days off when I'm just delivering seed because we're going to have a few more of these. Um, 
next week, so I know we're it's Tuesday. We got a long ways to go this week yet. Um, but next week, Brock's gonna be here four different days, I think. Uh, I am considering getting the Chevy hooked up to the old gooseneck and uh, having him haul with me. Just using two trucks, and uh, especially some of these where we've got multiple trips to the same place. I won't put more than four boxes on that trailer. I've done six, but it's too much for the pickup. Um, especially if Brock's gonna be driving. Not that he can't handle it, but just we're gonna be as close to what we should be as we can. Um, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll put four on there and let him, and then we can move a little bit more faster. That would be good. So, anyway, have a great night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.